What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back at it again with a brand new edition of Buy or Pass. We saw so many new WWE action figures over the weekend at WrestleMania out in LA. And for the figures that we've already received in hand, I'm not going to talk about those. You can go check out my reviews on those. So Elite 102, Ultimate Edition, Series 17, figures like that. Go watch the reviews if you want my full recommendations on whether you need those or not. But in this video, we're going to discuss all the rest of the Elites and Ultimates that were shown off to us at the WrestleMania a superstore and I'm going to give you guys my official opinion on whether you should buy it or pass it and then give you a little bit of information on why you may want to buy it or pass on it and just kind of give you the breakdown of everything going on. So there's a lot of figures to get through so I do want to talk about it right now man so let's shut the hell up dive into it and get into all the figures that we saw and get into whether you should buy or pass these WWE action figures coming soon. And while I'm saying this AEW Unrivaled Series 12 and the Greatest Hits Series number 2 are shipping out from Ringside Collectibles. You can go over there right now. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% man. Go save some money. Go buy those figures. I should have them in hand to review very soon. With all those things being said man let's dive into these figures. Starting out first man let's start off with the Ultimate Editions with the Survivor Series Amazon exclusive jaw dropping debuts Undertaker and Gobbledygooker 2 pack. This one is so unique that I feel like everyone needs it. I just love this pack. Now obviously if you don't give a goofy god dang about the Gobbledygooker you don't really care about the Undertaker you can completely skip it but I think if you're wanting a pack that's going to be memorable for a long time and something that we're going to think about and be like, damn, yeah, I, I have that pack and it's amazing. I would buy this one. I would buy this one just for the sheer uniqueness of it, but I would understand if you wanted to pass on it, but I love this pack. I'm absolutely copping this one, but who am I, Brad? I have 10 of the same figure sometimes. Next up is the Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle. Now, this one's kind of tough for me. I'm kind of saying hold hold yourself right here. I'd say hold up. I'd say I, I don't know if I were a bystander. Now, I this is a figure that was on my dream wish list from Mattel, an Ultimate Edition of one style Kurt Angle is what I wanted and it looks like we're getting it but I do not like the way the figure looks right now and until I have further images or more details about this figure I'm gonna say pass for now I'm gonna say pass for now I just think that it's I, I am very disappointed in this figure right now so we're gonna have to play the waiting game on this one I love Kurt Angle I love this era of Kurt Angle this is like right up in my money zone but I was super disappointed in this figure when I saw it and so for now I'm gonna say hold up I'm gonna say hold up here I would say wait and see and that's what I'm going to say for this one. It makes me very sad to even say that. Because this should be 100% cop by. But right now, Brad, I'm, 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 I'm upset at this. We also have a look at the Ultimate Edition Randy Orton. This one's a cop for me. If you guys want to, I would say probably just, like sell your other elites. Uh, hang on to the Elite 90. Sell off some of your Ultimate. Sell off some of your Elite Randy Ortons. You know, I don't think you need all of them. And I would buy this one. Even though this is an RK Bro Randy Orton figure, I still think that you could play around with some different stuff and make him into a regular... Randy Orton, you know, buy a custom hoodie or something like that to put on there. I don't know, man. There's different things you could go here, but I would say cop. I'm going to say buy the Randy Orton. Don't skip this one. I think this one's going to be fun. Adding these new head sculpts, adding the butterfly articulation. I'm excited for this one. Randy's one of my favorites of all time, so this one is going to be an insta cop for me. We also have a look at the upcoming Ultimate Edition RVD. Now, say what you will about the head sculpt. This was also on my wish list, but I think it looks good enough to purchase. This is a figure that I've been wanting forever. A one night stand RVD, butterfly joints, beautiful looking figure. This is a a cop for me. I just, I, I love it. I think it's great. I like the new head sculpts we got going here. I'm not big on the mouth open head sculpt. Maybe they'll tweak it a little bit. We'll have to see when that comes out, but this is a cop. This is a buy for me for the RVD Ultimate Edition. Next up is the Coliseum Collection Series number three. I love this Roddy Piper. It's kind of crazy because if you remember, I, I, I've i been talking about Mattel like getting into my wish list and bringing all these figures that I had on my wish list for so long to fruition. Four Ultimate Editions. I had Kurt Angle from 01. I had Randy Orton on there. I I had a one night stand RVD. I had Roddy Piper. So I even had Andre the Giant. So they were checking off all those boxes here. So this Roddy Piper is so sick. I would say this is a cop. If you don't want the full pack, you know, maybe you don't want George the Animal Steel. Maybe you're not into that right there. Just turn around and sell the George the Animal Steel. I know somebody out there is going to want that figure. That, that's something to be said. But I would say this is a cop. I like these sets. I'm enjoying the Coliseum Collection. I look forward to series number four. And I guess we'll see what comes of that. But I enjoy the Coliseum Collection. I would say cop it. But unless you're, you know, if you don't care about throwbacks or, you know, you're not a flashback collector or whatever, you could skip over it. I don't think you're going to lose sleep at night if you don't buy it. But the Hot Rod Roddy Piper is what makes this set worth it for me. So I would say cop. Next up are the Uso ringside exclusives. You need to go purchase these right now. Go pre-order these after this video. Use code MDTOYS to go get these, man. These are going to be figures that people are going to be very, very salty if you do not grab these. I'm so excited to get these figures, man. I can't, That cannot be stated enough how excited I am for the Uso's 
Ultimate Edition figures. These are two of the figures that I'm looking forward to the most this year. I know, I know that we pretty much have two Jimmys with like different head sculpts and stuff like that. I know that the head sculpts are wrong on Jimmy. I know there's different things going on, but I know they're you know they're going to release Elite Jimmys in the future to fix it. They're going to release stuff that we can adjust these figures with. Switch it with an older Jimmy if you want to. There's ways to fix these figures up, and I'm going to do my best on surgery to try to play around with some different formulas, see what we can do to adjust the head sculpts, but these are must-cop. These are insta-cop. I'd say go all in on the Uso Ultimate Editions. I'm looking forward to these two a lot. Absolutely go buy these. We have the Ultimate Edition Bianca Belair. Now this one, I feel like we have to wait and see. I do like the fur jacket. I don't know if I would pay full price for this. You guys know that like Alexa Bliss is, if you watch my ranking Ultimate Editions video from a few days ago, I put the, I, I hold the Alexa Bliss Ultimate Edition in very high regard. It's like 16th all time on my list. And so if this figure is anywhere near that ballpark, I say all that to say that the Alexa Bliss ended up going on clearance like heavy clearance people were getting it for like six seven eight dollars at target so i don't know if i would just buy this day one unless you're a really big bianca belair fan i don't know i'd say wait and hold here I love the gear. I love Bianca Belair, but I don't know. I, I I would wait and see. I'd wait and see here. I feel like maybe you could get this at a cheaper price, but it's still a great looking figure. Her two elites are, are pretty damn good, and so I, I don't know if this is a must cop at this moment, so I'm going to say wait and see. We also have a look at the NWO WCW Ultimate Edition Eric Bischoff. This is a cop here. Now, what does stink about this is that he does come with a ring, so I, that already puts me in a bad mood right there that we have to buy a ring just to get this, so I don't know what the market's going to be like after the fact, I feel like, you know, a lot of people are going to be charging out the wazoo for this ultimate Eric Bischoff. But this is one that I've been wanting on my list. So for me personally, this is a must cop. You know, flashback collectors, WCW guys, you must have this figure in your collection. It's a beautiful piece. I say cop it, but I, uh, it's going to suck doing that with the ring. That really makes me sick. We also have the Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley figure. This one's also kind of a struggle because you guys know that we've already seen so many elite Bobby Lashleys, right? We've seen three different ones with double jointed arms and gear. And then you have this McDonald's gear, and then you also have the Elite 103, so I guess if you had to pick between the Elite 103 and the Ultimate, I'd go with the Ultimate, because they both come with the same exact accessories, except Bobby Lashley's Ultimate is going to have a little bit more articulation, it's going to have the interchangeable head sculpt, so if you had to choose between the Ultimate and the Elite 103, go with the Ultimate, because we already have so many Elites, you might as well roll with the one with the added articulation, the unique McDonald's gear, throw in some fries and a McDouble, you got some good stuff going on here, I would say cop the Ultimate Bobby, pass on the Elite Bobby, so that knocks out both of those at the same time. Next up is the Ultimate Edition Macho Man. If you guys have that first version, I mean, I guess, like, some people care about having the historical stuff and, you know, having that first version, but I would sell off the, the Elite DM Macho. I don't even own it, but this one looks better than the Elite one, and I would say cop the Ultimate, man. I love Ultimate Machos. They're very fun to collect. They've knocked out, they've knocked these out of the park so far, and I can't wait for this one. I'm actually really, really excited for this one. The white and purple and silver look so clean, and this one has added details compared to that Defining Moments. This is going to be one of the better Ultimate Editions we see this year. I, I can't wait to do my top 10 Ultimates of the year when it is all said and done at the end of the year. This one's going to be on there, I can already tell. It's just a beautiful piece. I know we get a lot of repeat head sculpts, but this one right here is a cop. I'd say buy this one, no doubt. Next up is the Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Brock Lesnar. Now, if you have the Ruthless Aggression Elite Brock Lesnar, do you need this, you know? Like, I'm not the biggest head sculpt fan of this. I'm not a big fan of the head sculpts here. I know you get the added articulation on the boots. You get some butterfly joints and stuff, but I don't know, man. I almost want to say pass on this guy. I don't think it's necessarily worth it. Now, am I going to buy it? Absolutely, but I love Ruthless Aggression Brock Lesnar. I love this look of Brock Lesnar. I have a wacky collection as it is, so this is an easy cop for me, but if you have the Ruthless Aggression Elite, which I do know is going for crazy aftermarket prices, if you don't already have the Ruthless Aggression Elite, you may want to try to snag this, but I would say pass. I, I, I don't think there's just a lot here that you would be missing besides the shirt. So I, I'm going to say pass. I'm going to say pass unless you have like specific rules or things like that for yourself. Next up is the Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio. I would say cop this one. It's a big upgrade from the entrance grates. I'd say sell your entrance grates and buy this one. You know, this one is our first Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio, not including the fan takeover voting one that they also did, which I never heard which one the vote, which is kind of crazy. Those kind of flew by our faces with the Seth Rollins and the Rey Mysterio. Can't wait to see which one's won and all those different stuff. Maybe we'll know that at Comic-Con, but 
This is a cop for the entrance grade style Rey Mysterio. This is a beautiful one. And then we have Eddie Guerrero. I mean, I'm going to be real with you here. I love the way the figure looks with the shirt on, but with the shirt off, this thing is hideous. I want to say cop it just because, because, you know, like we, we've seen his Legends figure. If you have that Legends Elite that was not too, too long ago, I'd say probably just keep that one. But if you're really big on having an Ultimate, maybe you want to track this one down. I just, uh, I don't know, man. I'm just really disappointed with how ugly this torso is on these legs. Very jacked to very skinny. He looks very odd, but with the shirt on, I think he could pass. I just don't know. I, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be one that's like, hold my breath on this one. I really couldn't tell you because we, we have seen this one in the Legends way before and it looked, the head sculpt was kind of, you know, old school, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. The price increase and all the different things. I guess I'd say pass. I'd say, you know, I'm going to say pass for now. We have the Legends Rock figure. This one is a is a buy for me. I know a lot of people missed out on the first rock. I think that that one's sought after enough. This one is a cop. This one's an easy cop. I love the track suit. I like the gear. The head sculpts are phenomenal. Added articulation compared to the last rock ultimate in this style. This is going to be a perfect figure, to be honest with you. Like, by the looks of it, this one's going to be one of the better ones of the year. This is an easy cop for me. Logan Paul Ultimate. Unless you already pre-ordered it, I'd probably pass just because of the simple fact that it's going for like two, three hundred bucks in the aftermarket. Unless you pre-ordered one yourself, man, just pass on this one for now. Unless you can work out a trade or something or maybe get a good deal. I would say pass. Do not pay $300 for this, alright? Just don't do it. And now we're getting into the Elite figures here. And again, I'm not going to cover Elite 102. There's no point in getting into Elite Series 102 or figures that I've already reviewed on the channel. If you guys are interested in certain figures, definitely go check out my reviews. Because I, at the end of my reviews, I typically tell you if you should cop it or not. And where it fits in your collection and things of that nature. So, you know, there that's what it is. But we're picking up with Elite 103, starting out with Stardust. I love these figures. This is a figure I've been waiting on forever. So for me personally, this is a cop. But if you have no tie-in to Stardust, you don't care about Stardust whatsoever. You know, you only want to collect current Cody's. Or, you know, you, you just don't want this era yeah, completely skippable, you know. And I, I'm I'm all in on the regular version and the chase. I think both of them look really good. So I am going to cop them, but I would say pass. Unless you just have a high tie to Stardust and you want the figure and all those different things, I would say pass on it. But for me, I am going to be purchasing. We also have Liv Morgan Elite 103. This is such an upgrade from her Elite for 85. This is a must cop. I'd say buy this one. Updates our current Liv. Great gear. You get the money in the bank. You get the women's title. This is a great release here. I know it's a repeat head sculpt, but this is a cop. This is an absolute must cop. The Street Profits are must cop as well. I think these are buys easily. Sell your other Street Profits. Throw them into the abyss. This is an absolute must cop. No doubt about it, man. Like, don't even don't even think about it. Just do it. Just, just buy these and do not look back. These are some of the better figures of the year. You have the basketball shorts and their jerseys with no Velcro. I mean, these are money. These are some of my favorite figures of the year probably this year. So, I would say cop the Street Profits. Both of them are easy gets. I would skip over the 103 Roman. Unless you want the pointing head sculpt and the painted on boots. If that doesn't matter to you, then I would absolutely pass this. It's very similar to his other elites. You know, we had the three pack. We've seen multiple top talents. We have another top talents coming. We have the ultimate. There's so many Romans. This is an easy pass for you. Unless you just really, really want that finger pointing one, you know, hand sculpt that points up. I'd say skip this one with ease. We also have the top picks wave. If you have the Elite 95 Jimmy, you may not need this one. But for me, I like the added detail in the pants and I want both my my Usos in matching joggers so I would I would cop this one I would pass on the Roman Reigns top picks and I would pass on the Rock top picks don't need either of those this top picks wave was pretty disappointing but I am excited to have the Usos in there the Legends Undertaker figure I like this a lot I love how menacing he looks with the hat on I like the head sculpt very beautiful Undertaker figure I like the size of the arms this Undertaker is actually one of the releases I'm looking forward to the most this year this is a cop for me here with the Undertaker Legends figure we also have Brother Love also a, another cop I like this a lot if you're not a flashback collector or you don't even know who this is i mean easy skip you know if you don't know who the character is you probably need to skip it there's no need to fork out money unless you like just want to get it for parts or you know those certain rules or certain things that you want to do for yourself there but i would i would definitely cop this this is a buy for me personally we have d'lo brown and comma another cop i actually like this full wave to be honest with you i think it's a really good full wave i'd even get the chase d'lo but again, a lot of people don't even collect flashback figures, so it's an easy miss. Like, they don't need it. They could skip it. They can save a lot of money there, which is good. But for people that care about these characters and care about these looks and their collections, obviously you got to fork out the money, and it's more figures to buy. But a lot of people care about the Legends waves, man. A lot of people want these Legends figures. This is what we collect for. So 
I know a lot of people are going to be copping this full wave, and I'm included. That will be me as well. We also have the next Legend set, and again, if you don't collect flashbacks, it's another easy easy collection for you there to pass on or whatever, but this full set is another cop. The Mr. Perfect, I don't know. I kind of feel like he might be skippable if you have other Mr. Perfects. I love Ted DiBiase in the white suit. I love Ted DiBiase in the green suit in elite form. We've never seen those before, and the silver version was really hard to come by. The Chase Legends figure from a couple years ago. So, I don't know. Yeah, this Triple H may be skippable, and this Mr. Perfect may be skippable. I would not skip Greg the Hammer Valentine. That's a that, that, that new leg mold and this look of Greg the Hammer with the jacket is very, very appetizing for sure. I'd cop the Ted DiBiase. I might pass on the Triple H if I wasn't a huge Triple H collector just because we've seen, you know, Triple H is very, very run-of-the-mill if you're not a big Triple H guy. So, I could see you skipping the Mr. Perfect and the Triple H, but he does have the double-jointed arms. Icy title, great looking head sculpt. There are some good redeeming things about these, but I could see why somebody would want to skip them. We have DDP here in the Greatest Hits line. Now, this Greatest Hits line, I'm about to review these in the next... I'd say by the end of the week, I'll probably be starting on reviews of these. In short, if you missed them the first time, get them this time. I mean, that's, that's really what it comes down to. I'll be getting the full wave, but if you missed them the first time... Go get them this time if you care about them. I mean, that's simple and short that I could put it for this Greatest Hits wave. Some of these I want, some of these I don't like. And we're going to talk about those at the end of the week when I get them in the hand for reviews. But moving on to Ruthless Aggression, Tori Wilson, Instacop. Been waiting on her figure for a very long time. Double jointed, all those different things. I actually have this figure in hand. Need to review it, but I didn't figure, like, who wants to see just a standalone Tori Wilson review? I feel like it needs to be paired with something. We have JBL, another cop, even though I hate the torso and formula they go with. I still like, think it's a great updated JBL. We haven't seen him in a long time. I like the uniqueness of it, but I may grab two of these to fix up and make him in his old gear. You know, I just feel like that's missing my collection. I used to have the Elite 23, but I think I sold it way back when. We'll have to see about that. Then we have the Edge figure. This figure is so beautiful, even though it's missing a lot of details on the tights. This is a cop right here. This is a lot of people's favorite gear for Edge and the purple camo. This is it just so beautiful, man. I I would get this and make an updated edge. You know what I'm saying? Put an older head sculpt on there. Give him like a ripped up torso. That would be pretty cool. We also have the Miz here. I'd say cop this. You know, especially if you missed out on the Elite 3. I think this, this fills the hole. I actually like this better than the Elite 3. So there's that. You have the MVP figure. Great MVP here. If you're missing the Elite 1 or the Elite 9, it's a great way to to get your MVP needs without having to fork out a ton of money for those flashback elites there, or not flashback elites. This is technically the flashback elite compared to those current days in the time of release of those, which is kind of crazy to think about. But we also have the rock here. Easy cop for me. Been waiting for a Hollywood rock with a, with a belt buckle. I think the Brumble Bull belt buckle looks fantastic. So that is a must cop as well. We have the Monday Night War set here with The Undertaker. I love this Undertaker. I think this is a must cop. The Stone Cold's a must cop for me. I think all of the... This full wave, honestly, is a must cop. I hope that they fix Scott Hall. If they fix Scott Hall's jeans, I feel like that would give me way more room to cop this. But the Hulk Hogan's must cop. You're getting the new torso. You're getting the new skin tone, new head sculpt. A lot of great things with that Hulk Hogan, even though the weight belt sucks. The Stone Cold's going to be coming with a lot of accessories, updated formula. That figure's going to rule. And then the Undertaker's got like Ultimate Edition boots. I just feel like this is such a good cop here. This full set's a cop. And we don't know all the details about it yet. We haven't seen it in person, you know, all those different things. As as far as, like, full deco and stuff, so it's kind of a, a must-cop. So if you're, you're, if you're copping that full wave, you're automatically going to cop the Luger. When we get into the Defining Moments wave, I'd say this full wave is a must-cop unless, you know, you, you don't want the Bret Hart because you have the Ultimate Edition. I'd say the Sean's a must-cop, the Cody. If you don't care about the moment, I guess it's not must-cop, but you could easily fix that guy up. The Mankind figure is very unique. I would absolutely get that. I think it's probably one of the better Mankinds, even though I think he looks a bit jacksy. Hopefully that one will be arriving soon so we can get a review in so you guys can make a better decision there, but I would say cop the full set at this juncture, you know? Unless, like, you can always buy these figures, and if they don't... You know, they don't float your boat or whatever the hell you want to do. You can easily sell it. You know, get rid of it. Next up, we have AJ Styles Elite 104. I hate the torso they give him. I just, I, I don't know, man. Get the ultimate. Don't get this, AJ. Do not get this, AJ, unless you want him in red gear. But I'd still, man. I, I think the ultimate just blows this out of the water. Solo Sokoa for now. I'm skipping it. 
I mean, I'd wait for a basic and get a head sculpt. I feel like his basic may be better than his elite. That remains to be seen. They said they're going to go back to the drawing board on the formula. I don't know how much high hopes I have for that. This figure is just totally hideous. I would not, uh, I, I don't know. I It would pain me to spend money on the this figure looking the way it does right now. So that's why I say that. The render image looks fine. It's just the torso I hate. Shawn Michaels here. I mean, pending a lot of things, you know. The render image looks stupid as well, but this is a cop for me until I see it. Ah, just so many things up in the air right now. I guess I'd add it to the holding list because you don't really know exactly what they're going to do with this figure just yet. Kevin Owens is a cop, but I love Kevin Owens. If you have the Elite 102 or you have, if you have the Elite 101 KO or the previous Elite 91 KO, probably a skip, you know, what? what's the need there? Charlotte, if you have the Ultimate, you could skip this one, I think. Jerry the King Lawler, pretty good figure right here, but I think the Elite 82 is a damn good Jerry Lawler unless you just want a specific look for Jerry Lawler. This one looks okay, though. You have the Build-A-Figure Bulldog here. Solid piece. I guess it'll just depend, you know. Did you buy the full wave? If you bought the full wave, you automatically get the Build-A-Figure, so there's that. Johnny Gargano, this is a cop. All his figures are pretty sought after aftermarket. I know that we don't all collect for that reason, but if you're if you're a collector for, like, future investment or, like, you, you know, you like to have things that usually, like, hold their value or whatever the case is, I would say cop this one. This one's gonna hold its value. Johnny Gargano is one of those guys who has great figures and he's highly sought after, so I'd say, I'd say cop the Johnny Gargano. We have the Batista here. This is a cop for me. This is Royal Rumble 05 win. If you have the Ruthless Aggression Elite, you have the Ultimate probably a pass. Beth Phoenix, very good updated Beth Phoenix, but if you have no inclination of having her in the collection, easy pass, but it is going to be an update to her Decade of Domination. Definitely a better Elite than that figure. Brock Lesnar, easily skippable. You know, we have the Elite 96, we have the 3-pack, we have the Ultimate. I know his hair's braided, but you could easily skip this one. I'm not skipping it, but you could. You could easily skip this one and not lose any sleep. Ridge Holland, have zero interest in having a Ridge Holland figure, but if you want to complete that faction and you know you want him in the in the picture there. That's a that's a cop there. I like the jacket and stuff. Maybe you can fix him up. But a figure Virgil, just like the other build of figures, if you're buying the full wave anyway, you automatically cop the Virgil. So I guess if you're in that boat, you might as well cop it. I don't know what the build of figure market's like right now. Haven't looked at some of the build of figures, but usually these go for like 70 bucks. And without knowing exactly what this figure is going to look like, it's hard to say whether I'd buy it or not for 70 bucks. I'd say pass for now. Braun Strowman, I'm going to say pass for now. Carmelo Hayes, this is a cop. I I'd say cop the Carmelo Hayes, man. Cop the Carmelo Hayes. Gonna be a first time in the line elite. A lot of good stuff going on with Carmelo Hayes. I like the interest jacket. The cloth goods have just been knocking it out of the park for Mattel lately. Dominic, absolute must cop. You gotta cop the Dominic, man. You gotta cop the Dominic. Sell your other Dominic. I like the Judgment Day Dominic better anyways. I would I would say cop this new Dominic. I'm liking the head sculpt and stuff like that. We have EO Sky. You guys missed out on her first figure. This is definitely a must grab. I like the sculpting and stuff going on with this figure as well. Drew McIntyre, easy pass. Easy Easy pass right here, unless they blow my mind and say this is his WrestleMania 39 gear, which I highly doubt. I would say pass. This is an easy pass here on the Drew McIntyre. Definitely do not need this one. Dakota Kai. This is a cop, I'd say. Her first figure was pretty good. If you guys missed out on her first figure, definitely get this one. It's gonna be it's gonna be better than her first go around. Even though her first figure wasn't bad, this one is gonna be slightly better. Braun Breaker. I would cop this one. Another first time in the line. Not, you know, not completely first time in the line, but first time in the line elite. I like both versions. I'd go with the, I don't know, they're both pretty good gear, I'd say. I, you guys know I'm a fool for pink, so I'd probably go with the pink, but at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Rick Steiner, cop it if it's coming out. You have no choice otherwise. Becky Lynch, probably the, a damn good Becky Lynch figure. This looks really, really good. Even though I don't like like this gimmick specifically for her with the big time Beck's like, weird Lady Gaga thing she had going on. Figure looks really impressive though for an elite. Rocky Maya Villa, if you missed it the first time, grab it this time. I imagine this is going to be a Greatest Hits figure. That's why I say that. That's going to be my rules for Greatest Hits. Missed it the first time, grab it this time. Want an update? Grab it this time as well. Hulk Hogan, completely skippable unless you just want the championship or the American Made shirt. If you need an, if you need a Hulk Hogan that looks like this, just go get the Ultimate Edition. You get way more stuff with it. It's like your good run-of-the-mill Hulk Hogan. I'd say cop the Ultimate Edition. This Stone Cold, I'm actually looking forward to this a hell of a lot because you could put any shirt on here. You could change out the head sculpt. I'd say cop 
this because there's going to be a lot of ways you can fix this guy up and make him look like an old school or a current day Austin. So I'm going to go with buy. Absolute buy this Austin. And I think that is every single figure, finally. Dude, they showed off so damn much. Like, I've went through these images so many times with you guys. We never did a buy or pass on it, but Jesus, man. This, they showed off so much. I don't know what they're going to do for Comic-Con. I know, I, obviously, at Comic-Con, I'm sure we'll see a lot of these figures, except with full deco, full paint. Like, we'll get to see these guys. Like, all these prototypes are probably going to be finished or that we're going to see full what they're going to actually look like when they get produ produced. And then we'll see upcoming more renders, upcoming more ultimates, all those different things. We're like a little, I think we're right at like eight and a half weeks or so away from Comic-Con. So when we do see those, oh God, they, they have a lot of time to, to fill in and get some figures in here that we really want or that we will really want to see. So a lot of this stuff that's fleshed out, probably by the, I bet we'll do another buyer pass when Comic-Con comes around. That'll be a good time frame because we have two more months and then I'll do another buyer pass and we'll cover all the Comic-Con coverage. Don't think I'll be there at Comic-Con. It's very tricky to get into Comic-Con. If anybody watching this has a, has a way of getting Comic-Con tickets or badges or, or uh, is familiar with that process or is able to help me out with that, I'd be greatly appreciated. But I'm pretty sure you have to like prepare a year in advance to do stuff like that and so i don't know man i would love to go i just don't know if it's in the cards this year specifically for sure and even if you plan to go it's not always feasible because of all the craziness but that is gonna wrap this video up man hope you guys did enjoy i'd love to know all of your thoughts down below which ones are you copping which ones are you passing if you disagree with my copper pass let me know down in the comment section below but that is gonna wrap this video up man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy huge shout out to our patrons of the mdt youtube channel Thank you guys so very much for the patron army. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member, Extreme Division members and up, get shouted out every single day on the patron shout out wall here at the end of the videos. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on all these things down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never